What's going on guys, unknown player here and today I want to talk about something pretty interesting and one aspect of the Rise of Iron expansion and something not a lot of people are talking about and that's the fact there's going to be no year 3 gear or items, they don't exist and that's going to be very strange for transitioning into the expansion with our current year 2 or Taken King gear. So I want to talk about it and get your thoughts and opinions so be sure to leave comments down below this video with what you think. So essentially as you guys would have heard me say in a few videos, Rise of Iron is not year 3 and year 3 doesn't exist and this expansion in September is not going to be a Destiny. 3.0. I know we used to refresh every September with Destiny 1 and the Taken King being like year 1 and then year 2 or Destiny 2.0 but Rise of Iron is an expansion to the Taken King so technically it's still year 2 I guess. The only difference is going to be a load more activities, new gear and a new light level of course. So what this means essentially is that we're still going to be able to use our year 2 weapons and Taken King weapons in the Rise of Iron expansion. In fact, Bungie have directly showed us that this is true, and you may not have paid too much attention to this in a trailer, it's a very casual shot, but this is very telling. We've got six Guardians in the new raid, they're at the boss fight, or whatever this machine on the wall is. As you can see, three of them are decked out in the new Rise of Iron weapons and armor, and three of them are also wearing year two items from the April update. So we've got the Spectre gear, we've got the Sterling package stuff, and the Hunter is wearing the Desolate Taken gear, and these guys are using Prisoner of Elders and Queen's weapons. So like I said, this is confirmation that our current gear will be infusible in Rise of Iron and it will be clearly the current light level, seeing as these guys are using this stuff in the raid. It isn't clear whether Bungie will make some slight changes to the infusion system, but so far infusion is here to stay. So the main concern I have is what incentive will there be for us to use this new Rise of Iron gear? Because we've spent like 10 months grinding the Taken King and getting the best loot possible, We've got basically all these god roll weapons and these perfect amazing armor sets so I feel like we're going to be going into this raid pretty much using our very best year 2 items and I'm kind of worried that there won't be much of an incentive to use the new gear in Rise of Iron because it'll basically be like starting all over again at trying to get those god roll weapons again, trying to get the right perks in your armor. I personally wish they forced us to use the new gear and there was some kind of a refresh. I don't want to use the same weapons for two years straight until Destiny 2. I want to use new stuff and I want to use the greens and the blues and then get excited to get legendaries and then eventually get exotics. But from what I've seen so far, it looks like there's going to be nothing forcing us to drop our year 2 stuff and try out the new Rise of Iron gear. Unless you get something that looks really cool or you get like a god roll item that is brand new. I don't think there's going to be much of an incentive to use this new Rise of Iron stuff versus the current stuff we have already. And I'm not saying that I want them to make our Taken King stuff useless like Gear 1 stuff is currently useless. That's definitely what I'm saying. Of course, we've all worked hard to get these weapons and grind them out and I want them to be usable. But I think it'd be kind of boring if we all went into the raid using our current best stuff from the Taken King. And I think it would be more interesting and more fun if we had to use Rise of Iron stuff first and the end game was trying to infuse our Taken King gear. The main thing I'm thinking about is that obviously when the raid launches, that is when pretty much everyone goes try hard. It's basically the only time when everyone goes like sweat mode for PvE stuff. But you want to complete it on day one, obviously you want to get through it, you want to get the loot and you want to try it and beat it as quick as possible. And you want to use the best weapons at your disposal to complete the raid. That's how it always is. So every single raid we've gone into, we've always started with little to no gear. I remember during the King's Fall raid, I had like half blue armor. I was using the Boolean Gemini because it was like the only exotic I got. And it was the easiest one to get that was like a highlight level. I had this Ruin Wake machine gun that was legendary, which was my best item. And also had this really awful raid fusion rifle. It was literally the highest light level item I had. I pretty much had to use it. So we were forced to scrounge for the best stuff we could possibly use, which I think was really fun. I think we can all agree that the first stage where you don't know where anything is, you're trying to discover the weapons and everyone's figuring stuff out. I think that's the best stage of Destiny or most games when you're trying to like grind up and build your progression. I think that's the most fun stage. But I feel like currently we're not going to have that in Rise of Iron. It looks like we're still going to be able to use our current stuff that we have from the Taken King. And if Infusion is still 100%, then basically any high level stuff you can just put straight into your best year two stuff. So if I get to use my Taken King weapons, I'm pretty much going to use my God Roll Hung Jewelry, my God Roll Thousand Yard Stair, probably my Raze Lifter as well. And I feel like that'll be a bit too boring and I really hope they don't make the raid too easy because of this. Now another big thing to bear in mind is that we all have black spindles and if there are any bosses in this new raid that can be killed by a spindle, they're pretty much going to get destroyed. Like imagine if we all had black spindles when we first went into King's Fall, the War Priest and Gorgoroth, they would all be a piece of cake and Touch of Malice is also another thing. Although I doubt they'll make the Touch of Malice that useful in this new raid. I can't really see that happening. It's a very specialist weapon that's only good in very certain situations. So I don't think Touch of Malice is going to be all that useful. But the Black Spindle, of course, is always going to be very good. So I'm worried it's going to make the raid a little bit too easy for us. I feel like they might design the raid in a certain way so that our weapons and things like the Black Spindle won't matter and they won't be that good. It's simply a matter of doing other mechanics to actually beat the bosses. And I hope they have some kind of solution to us bringing like 10 months worth of amazing exotics and god rolls into the raid. 
You could argue that we kind of deserve to use these weapons because we've been grinding for them for so long. But I think if we do get to use all of these weapons from the Taken King, I think it will be a little bit boring. And they need to make it so they don't make our old weapons useless. But these new weapons are so good that we want to use them. So in terms of solutions, I can think of two things they might do to prevent this. The first thing they might do is make Infusion not 100% anymore. This would stop us infusing our old stuff. And if you get a new Rise of Iron item, you aren't really going to infuse it into a Year 2 item. That's going to make your light level dip a little bit and that will kind of discourage you from infusing it because you will lose a little bit of light. I personally hope they don't do that because I feel like the old Infusion system was way too slow and grindy and I don't think we want to go back to that. I think what would be a great solution is that if they made it so that our Taken King stuff requires some extra materials to infuse and you only get this item by completing the raid or each boss fight drops it or the end game activities like Trials and Iron Banner drop this stuff. Like imagine a material similar to Etheric Light that is basically required to infuse any Taken King item just how it requires moats and legendary marks and weapon parts. Maybe Taken King items require you to use this item to infuse it and you can only get these materials from the end game activities. I think that will be a perfect solution because it will take a few weeks for us to infuse all of our Taken King items. They won't go anywhere, they'll still be very relevant, but it'll take a while to be able to infuse them. And the first time we go into the raid, we'll have to use our new weapons because we won't have that material to infuse our current stuff. So I'm sure they're going to have some kind of solution for this, and I'm sure they won't just let us constantly use our Year 2 items to make things a little bit too easy. Once again, I don't want to just drop our Year 2 or Taken King gear completely. I think we've grinded way too long enough for this stuff, and it would definitely suck to lose it all. But first, I definitely want to use these new items. But it was a super interesting topic I thought was a massive effect on how we're going to play the Rise Vine, and we'll talk about it with you guys and get your thoughts. So leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. How do you think the weapons and light level are going to be in Rise of Iron and how do you think all of our amazing weapons are going to fit into this expansion? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Just me basically rambling about something I've been thinking about. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I massively appreciate all your support on my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.